Okay, so before I hop straight into this video, I'd just like to say that 72% of you guys are not subscribed and I would really appreciate it if some of you guys subscribed. Other than that, let's get straight into it. All right, so first things first is you wanna grab your clip and then we're gonna click export and render it as a PNG sequence file. That way we can work with it in Photoshop, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna save it in a folder just so it's easier to see. Then I'm gonna open up Photoshop and click open and then I'm just gonna import the picture in. Now for this part, it's really important to change the canvas size. Make sure it's a type asterisk and number two. So it doubles the pixel size. That way we can work with the background more. Then I'm just gonna select the whole frame and then make sure to click invert so that it collects everything. as you can see it's already looking pretty good and now what we want to do is we want to quick export as a PNG and we're gonna save it in the same file and save it as the third frame now that we're in After Effects we can just import all the pictures and I'm just gonna pre-comp it so it makes everything a lot easier then I'm gonna check the resolution for the last frame the last picture that we made. I'm just gonna type it in here. Make sure it's the exact measurements. And now what we wanna do, we wanna go back to the pre-comp, add two keyframes, one at the start and one at the end. And then just kinda zoom out until you get that effect. And now we're gonna F9 to easy ease. And once we play it, it should look nice. And then, this is the last step. We're just gonna take the actual footage and put it as the top layer and it should blend already really well. And that's it. After that, I just wanna render it just so it's a lot easier to work with. And you can just add extra effects on top of that. My personal favorite is posterized time. I think it makes it look really nice. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.